Mein Lieb, so ein herzliches Gesetzeskurs in die Lord Jesus Christ. Ich danke für das Privileg, zu sein in seinem Haus, zu worship ihm. Amen. Und für einige von uns zu sehen, in another Father's Day. Amen. Amen. Nothing but the grace of God that allowed us this church and this mercy and this grace to be here in a sanctified church to praise Him, to lift up His holy name. We thank God and we do not take anything to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father's Day, Prophet, one hundred dollars. Doris Maya, eighty dollars. To the Prophet, Happy Father's Day. Evans Rogers, one hundred dollars. Mother Smith, Happy Father's Day. Senior Brooks, Happy Father's Day. One hundred dollars. Evans Wagner, Happy Father's Day. One hundred dollars. And before I forget, uh, Evans Evans, uh, a package, Happy Father's Day. One hundred dollars. Elder Kenya, Happy Father's Day. One hundred dollars. And uh, uh, Daughter Diamond, Happy Father's Day. One hundred dollars. Dollar Shiloh, Happy Father's Day, one hundred dollars. Evan Wagner, Happy Father's Day, one hundred and fifty dollars. Third Sunday sacrifice, Evan Wagner. Hmm, nine hundred and forty dollars. Lord, Amen. Hallelujah. The sacrifices we make for God in His kingdom is registered in glory. And when you're going through and you think you don't have no way out, go to God in fervent prayer. And I promise you that stand here. God will deliver you from that circumstance and from that condition that you think that you are so beset upon. God will always deliver his faithful Yes. And he will always deliver his church. Lord. And the faithful are a part of the church. And the church is the kingdom of God. Lord. So we thank God again for his mercy. And thank God again for his covenant yes. promise. Amen. These promises are made by covenant. And the covenant cannot be reversed. If God said, I'll never leave you, it can't be reversed. Right. Wait a minute. It didn't say you couldn't leave him. Right. God said, I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. I've said this often because I want someone to get this inside of them. To let you know no matter what you're going through, God is right there. You know how I know he's right there? Because you're right here. Amen. You're in this church. Oh, God. And if I'm in this church, I'm in this church by my own decision. I could be somewhere else. All of us could be somewhere else. But we perish in our heart to be in church. Not necessarily because of Father's Day. We in church because of, yeah, our Father. All right. All right. We all have two fathers. Amen. 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 You got the adopted daddy, and you got the real daddy of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And if God be for you, who or what can be against you? Amen. Brothers and sisters, let's hear from the heavenly voices at this time. Thank you to the heavenly voices for saying us happy uh, uh, this morning and we thank 
the prophet is back, doing a wonderful, wonderful job. And God is glorified. We came to church to worship him, to praise him, and have a good time. And we praise him, and we worship him, and we are having a good time. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to take a, a, a thought from uh, Romans 9 and 5. And I want to kind of bring you up to a scenario here. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, when Minister Cook appeared before the great Azusa Miracle Revival, in 1907, he brought the church a new knowledge that had been hidden from them even since Constantine the Great convened that great uh, council in Nicaea 325, in which he took the glory away from Jesus and gave it to three other personalities. Read Romans uh, 9 5. Whose are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God bless forever. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Yeah. Christ came, who is over all, God bless forever. The apostles knew who Jesus was. Paul said, God was manifest in flesh. He started out without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Not somebody else, not another, not two others, but God, singular, was manifest or became flesh. When? When he took upon that human body to become the Son of God, to die at Calvary's cross. But he always was God the Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Who was in the flesh? Uh, Christ came who was over all. God blessed forever. Not God's plural, the singular. Mm -hmm. Bless God. So when Brother Cook told uh, the Azusa Street, uh, those who came to that great revival, he told them that we have been deceived by a wrong conception of the Godhead. He said there's no such thing as a trinity, and you can't find it in the Bible nowhere. Amen. You can't find a triune Godhead in the Bible. You can't find nowhere with a, a reference to three gods in glory. Amen. Paul said, I looked up in the John said, I look up in heaven and lo, one sit on the throne. Amen. Because there's only one divine throne. There's not room for two or three. And ain't nobody sitting on nobody's lap. Amen. There's only one supreme being. And that is Jesus Christ, the God of glory. Amen. So when he brought this message to them, some split from the original teacher of the uh, Azusa Street American Revival, it went on their own way. Among them was Bishop Mason, who formed the Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. He said, I won't accept if Jesus is God. But Bishop Hayward, who was a friend of his, went another direction. He said, I believe that Jesus is God Almighty. Amen. If you take notice now uh, in uh, Isaiah, the prophet writing in chapter 9, I believe around verse 6, Amen. we're trying to identify on Father's Day with our Father. Amen. You know, it, it's a sad thing when a child doesn't know the name of his Father. Amen. Amen. We have that knowledge. We can call Jesus and know we're talking about God Almighty. Hallelujah. Now here's what the prophet Isaiah said in 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Watch, a child is born. Uh -huh. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, in other words, all rule is under his command. Amen. Read. And his name shall be called Wonderful, yes. Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting we got, Father. Oh, we got to stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you see why I'm Jesus only. Amen. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Mighty God and everlasting Father. I share with you the other night, and I've shared often, when Philip was confused about Jesus teaching about the Father, and he asked that great question. Scholars have been wrestling with it, and they've tried to take it out the Bible. They've tried to usurp another Bible, an uh, uh, addition Bible to the original Bible. Uh, I think the New World Translated Bible, you got another one that won't teach this. Yeah. Jesus, in, in John 14, chapter 
Philip asked to see mm -hmm. God the Father and not the Son. And Jesus said, Have I been so long time with you, yet thou hast not known me, Philip? When you see me, you see the Father. Why sayest thou, show us the Father? Believe it thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Amen. You're talking about personality who is visible, plus an invisible spirit. Yes. You can't see God in his invisible deity form, divine form. You can't see him. He's invisible. Amen. But you can see him in the spiritual eye because God is a personality. Jesus became the personality of the invisible spirit. What's so complex about it? It's complex because Paul said again, great is the mystery Lord. of God in this. Now, if it wasn't a mystery, he wouldn't have said mystery. Not only did he say it's a mystery, he said it's a great, great mystery. God became flesh. Hallelujah. And dwelt among us. Amen. Preached the Gentile, believed on in the world, and received back up in glory. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we have to understand that Jesus is not God in addition to. All right. He's the only true God. And once we can understand the importance of knowing who Jesus is, we get down on our knees and pray to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, at the name of Jesus. Oh. That was complete for me. It is the name of Jesus. Sickness is complete for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. When my oldest brother had to a series of epilepsy, and Mother Graves came over and prayed for him. She called the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And when they took him to church that Friday night, the elders gathered around and anointed him with oil and called on the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Oh, power in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. You got the yeah. 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 You got the authority because you called on Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Yeah. church called on the name of Jesus. So that's the concept of who he is. He told him. Yeah. He walked up, praise God, to the Red Sea. After he had delivered the people and set them on a pathway of freedom, yes. they still doubted him. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And wanted to attack the prophet Moses. Mm. Praise God. And when the Red Sea was there and Pharaoh's army was directly behind them, Man. they got mad and told the prophet, said, mm. now look, you know, brothers had yet to be destroyed. Yep. Mm. And Jesus and Moses said, well, wait a minute, what shall I do? And he questioned God. He said, now here's the Red Sea here. Mm. Now there's a problem somewhere. God said, no problem. Amen. Stretch out your mouth. And command to see the part. Stretch out your faith. The yes. so God represented faith in God. Lord. And when you obey God, listen to me. When you don't obey God, you can't put faith in action. Right. Yes. You can sit there, wait a minute. Don't, Lord, I can't be no fool. Stretch out a rod and, and all of a sudden the ocean going to part. No, 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 I can't do it. What do you do? He stretched out his rod. Well, he didn't know. For certain, but one thing for certain, he knew enough to obey. Right. Says it. It's about obedience to the word of God. Not always understanding. If God tells you he'll bear his strength, you stand back, put it on the word of God, and come back to them and do you in the name of Jesus. Oh. sharing with myself this morning mm. about how I was hemorrhaging mm. and taking my shorts and rolling up and putting them underneath the dirty clothes hamper. Mm. Right. And mother came to me that Sunday morning, I never forget long ago, she said, now listen, we got to have a talk. I know you don't want to go with this, but listen, there's too much blood in your shorts. You've got to go and see about this. This is dangerous. I said, I'm going to see about it right now. Amen. And I got in that bathtub that Sunday morning. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord so said, lay your hand on your stomach. I'm going to heal your body. And out of obedience, I laid my hand on my stomach. And y'all hit my chest, I started laughing and couldn't stop. Amen. And when I stood, I looked and said, I'm healed. Lord. And that was I never had no more blood in my shorts to this very day. And I'm 88 years old. That's many years later. Lord. I had a stomach ache once before, but I went up to the mountain on Seven Mile Road and stretched out before that mountain and prayed the prayer of faith. Hallelujah. And God took that stomach away. Hallelujah. And it ain't been that shit. But if it comes back again, I'll be the same thing. I'll be the same God yesterday, today, and forever. God never changed the people. I'm here to tell you, brothers and 
sisters. Yes. We in the right church. Yes. At the right time. Yes. Someone was sharing me about a pastor the other day. Made a comment about lesbians and sodomites. Mm -hmm. And I believe he said they ought to be put somewhere and killed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I, 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 I don't agree with doing it that way. But I believe the thought pattern he's trying to convey to the church. Amen. And do you know... Them deacons put him on administrative mm -hmm. sick leave. Mm -hmm. And I shared with some of the ministers yesterday, I believe. I said, they ain't nothing but a bunch of cowards. No. First Amen. of all, a pastor ain't got no good in having a coward as a minister. Amen. Lord. Amen. As a deacon. Right. Hallelujah. You really don't need no cowards in the church at all. All right. Because this is a warfare. This is yes. a battle we're up against. Right, yes. Can't you see where it's taking place? They even moved this uh, 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 abortion now from uh, 90 days, the first 90 days, maybe, now nine months. Wait till the baby's born and ask the mother, you want the baby dead or alive? Oh, well, let me think. Planned Parenthood told me, oh yeah, kill the baby. Planned Parenthood. Auschwitz, death camp. Go hear about Auschwitz. Yes. They kill, I believe, bring up six million Jews. A death camp, they call it. Planned Parenthood to kill more babies than, than the Nazi Germany did oh, at Auschwitz yeah. death camp. Definitely. Why? Because people will not stand up and defend the faith once delivered because they don't know who Jesus is. But thank God we know who he is. Lord. And we can call on his name for power. I said we don't call on his name by the we can call on his name by power. Lord. He is coming to you by the church. Hallelujah, yes. Pray the prayer of faith. Man. And Jesus is not going to be present in the United States. And God heard our prayer. Yes. Yes. Tell him he did it. Yes. Amen. 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 If Hillary Clinton been a uh, president, I'll be in jail. I'll be in jail. Because I just kept on preaching. Amen. The Jesus only message. I uh, kept on preaching against murder. Right. Kept on preaching against silent and loving behavior. Glory, hallelujah. Mm. You don't need no debate about whether or not you're a man or a woman. Amen. Take your clothes off and stand in front of a mirror. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> if you ain't got no better sense, I'll go in the mirror and biology. All right. Come on, come on. <laughs> Praise Amen. God. No, that ain't me. Yeah, that is you. Amen. <laughs> 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 you got me down for the ain't gonna change it. It'll change your physical anatomy, but it ain't gonna change you from being uh, making you a woman. Man. Cut off everything. Mm. Add some things. You still ain't nothing but a freak of nature. Right. If you made yourself. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Now I saw over the news and it hurt me to my heart. They got a, a, a what they call them? Uh, transvestites, what's that other word? Transgender going to libraries mm -hmm. and having children come yes. and read uh, stories to them. Well, you got a freak reading Bible stories to a child. Amen. Because they're trying to indoctrinate the child at an early age. Put this into their mind. Then when they grow up, they grow up with this mentality. There's nothing wrong with it. Because when I was seven, eight years old, I had a teacher reading me, and she was a transvestite, and bragged on it. Yep. You can brag all you want, but one thing for certain, when the God of glory spits the sky, one thing for certain, you're going to run to the mountain and say, fall on his high from the wrath and him that sits on the throne. That's the word of God. I promise to tell you, you're going to be a wrestling day one day, but until it is, nobody got to stand up and tell the children, a boy is a boy, a girl is a girl, a young man is a young man, and young man is a young woman, and then if you come young, you're a man, and you don't want and you've got to stand up and sit on the word. Yeah. That pastor made that statement. Pastor, I don't know who you are, but I think somebody's trying to find your phone number so I can call you. Be encouraged. Amen. Right. And it's your fault for having some weak knees right. trying to go along with some kind of program. Right. Ain't no one program, that's right here. Look. Ain't no debate. If you think we're already studied, yeah. if you find this side of mine, they didn't have, in the old time, they didn't worry about those lesbians. Nope. Because they didn't have such back then. They had some sodomites. Where's that patch found? Is that in Exodus 20th chapter? Or Deuteronomy 20th chapter? Yes, sir, have you found? Read. I'm telling you what my father said. Amen. Amen. 23 and 17. There shall be no harlot of the daughters of Israel. No harlot of the daughters of Israel. You know what the harlot is. 
Mm -hmm. Prostitute. Nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. Nor sodomite. Mm -hmm. Now the word sodomite is taking the word sodomy. Sodomy means male to male sex or, y'all listen, or sex with an animal. Yes. Amen. It's held in the same context. So if a man goes to bed with another man, he goes to bed with a dog. Right. <laughs> now what kind of mentality has he got? And what kind of character has he got? And what's he proven to his family member? What about, what did your mother think of you? Oh, well, my, she, she says it's fine. She accepts uh, my boyfriend, Johnny. Yeah. But that's just what you are. Amen. What you are. Because there's too much cowardice going along and nobody's following what my father said. Amen. It should not be following no what? There shall be no harlot of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. Nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a harlot or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy <laughs> God for any vow. For Don't any bring the price of a dog. Now, dog, if you look in Re Re Revelation 22 and 12, I believe it is, when Jesus refers to a dog, no dog shall enter the kingdom of heaven. It's not talking about a four-legged dog. Right. He's in reference to a sodomite. Mm -hmm. Sodomites were referred to that day in a slain context as dogs. Look it up. All the new hypocrite preachers out there who, who won't speak the truth and you want to cross-reference me, look it up. Amen. Hallelujah. What we need to do, brothers and sisters, is hold on to what we've been taught by the apostle of God who used God Almighty as the divine Father, and we, Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. He told Amen. Timothy, my son in the gospel. So if Timothy was his son in the gospel, Paul must have been his father in the gospel. Amen. So if you call Amen. me daddy or father, ain't nothing wrong with it, because I am your father in the gospel. Amen. And if you read me a uncle or father, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Ain't nobody got to be in our shit. Ain't no neutral ground in this war. Amen. You put daddy or you against daddy. Amen. And you put enough to be against daddy. Well, sooner or later, as daddy will come, as he comes to all disobedient children, all right. and he got a belt with him. All right. Amen. And this doesn't no temporary. Amen. This is eternal belt. Yes. You're with me, or you're not with me. You rejected my word. You rejected my prophets. You rejected my apostles. You're not with me. Brothers and sisters, let's not be foolish. Amen. Let's not be persuaded yes. by what is called the crowd. Mm -hmm. When Jesus saw on the boat, he began to teach. When he saw the crowd, and they were kind of, oh, now wait a minute. I, I, you know what he told them? He said, yep. let's get away from the yep. shore. Go out over here. Leave mm -hmm. that crowd alone. Yeah. What? It's like the evangelist called the other day. I said, you, you can't teach a person who don't want to be taught. That's right. Why waste your time? And get upset. And have you doubt? Amen. Mm -hmm. Mother Dr. called me. Yeah, right. upset. Amen. She said, uh, all you got to do is repeat Romans and you say. <laughs> get, give me a, a, wait a minute. Give me a, what is that passage in Acts? Uh, eight, is that the 18th chapter? Philip and the Ethiopian? Eight chapter. Let me chapter, chapter 8. 8 chapter? Yes, 8 chapter. I'm verse 30. 30, 35. 35. Verse 35. Y'all catch on this right quick. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture. Now prior to, the Ethiopian was reading the Bible, but he didn't understand. Yes. How should he know what other preacher? Amen. How shall he teach except he be sent? Glory. Yes. Read it. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with Watch. all thine heart, if Philip, Philip said, If you believe in all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Uh -huh. and, and he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Oh, wait. They uh -huh. both went into the water. Mm -hmm. He said, Philip grabbed a glass of water and sprinkled it. 
<laughs> he said they both Lord. went into the water because he got to dip it. Now the word baptism taken from the Greek word baptizo, which yeah. means to emerge. Amen. Amen. You don't sprinkle nobody. Amen. You don't get no power holes and, and spring on them and they say you're in the name of Jesus, you're yeah. baptized. You got to take somebody in the water because the water represents a grave. When you go down, you go down and a dead person, but when you rise up out the grave, you're alive. Amen. All things are what? Passed away. Right. Behold, all things are brand new. Yes. You don't know this unless you've been taught. Thank God for the word this morning. Amen. And thank God for us knowing who Daddy is. And we thank God for Daddy making a way for us to come into holiness and be saved and get his coming and never last you for Thank God for the word. How many of the word this morning? Amen. How many of you is the one and only God? Maybe we better close down here 45 and 5. I think you said, I am. I am the Lord and Wait, I gotta stop right there. I am. <laughs> I is, did y'all went to school? First person. Singular pronoun. Singular pronoun. <laughs> one person speaking, not three. Not two. One person speaking. I what? I am the Lord, and there is none else. Oh, go. That, that shakes me up. I am the Lord, there is none else. Uh -huh. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known now, me. Now, girded thee means I brought you into the world and you didn't know me. Uh -huh. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west. Don't this sun come up in the east and set in the west every single day? I don't care, it might be cloudy, but the sun's still going to come up. If you don't see it, it's still going to come up and, and, and set in the west. The rising of the sun, what? Of rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none besides me. None besides me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I am the Lord, there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, I believe this three or four times. He says, none else. Amen. I wonder why he said that. Because he's trying to preach to some hard headed people. And I said, none else four times. Now, how are you going? Say there's two or three. Mm. I've already said there's nothing else beside me. Once, twice, I think three times. Nothing else beside me. I'm Lord, there is none else. Brothers and sisters, we have the truth. But it's difficult to hold on to the truth when you've got so many lies coming, supposedly, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm a Baptist, but, but we all going to heaven. No, we ain't all going to heaven. And somebody lying, somebody telling the truth. True, that's the only church going to heaven. Any church that does not follow this book is not going to heaven with God. Amen. Now, if you show me another church besides you, like, where the dogs wear head cover, wear a dress, All right. and not afraid to speak out against Solomon, yes. speak out against Nebuchadnezzar, yes. speak out against Babylon, yes. show me that church. Yes. Now, they're going to power that preacher down. Next thing you know, he's going to say, well, I apologize for the statement I made. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Preacher, if you're watching, hold your ground. Stand in the Word of God. Now, you go to the Scripture. You said they all need to be put to death. But God said the same thing in the Old Testament. Amen. Why you open it? I mean, that's said that way, but it comes out the same. If you read the Bible, and if you take the book of Revelation, I mean the book of uh, Romans chapter 32, which is under the dispensation of grace, he said, they that do such things are what? Where they are there. Ain't that the same thing? Philip. All right, now you start to watch and do the lesson. Y'all get together and, and come and buy your bus loads and get in front of the tree right now. Say the same thing to you. Hallelujah! Lord, don't let me go. I want to be your bride with my wasted heart.
Here it is. Two is blessed by a great clock jump in the great day. Every day is a great day, amen. The clock day is a special day. We give respect, honor, and love for our spiritual father, amen. We really did an act. Before I go any further, I'd like to give my great God Jesus Christ all praise, honor, and glory. Double and all honor to the next of the and the prophet, prophet, Walker. That baby was Walker, those that are in the I'm the one honor to do, amen. Again, happy Father's Day to our great leader, Father David Walker, amen. <laughs> Truly a great man, God, and I say love and respect our project. The good old words of the person to describe the respect and love we have for our prophet, mainly because he's a true man of God, and he's been sent by God to teach all the word of God. As prophet first stated about that pastor who made see, it's one thing to make a comment, amen. Praise God. You know, this boxer say, you know, everybody got a plan until they get in the ring and get hit in the mouth. Now, he made that comment about the side of my and legend. It's true. Now, they fighting back. Now, they hitting back. Now, what are you going to do? Is he going to tuck tail around the corner? Amen. Or he's going to stand flat-footed on the Word of God? Amen. We're going to stand flat-footed on the Word of God. Praise God. You ain't got to worry about nobody coming to life with that man. Because they know. They know we stand for the Word of God. They know we ain't no coward. They know we're not offended. They know we're not uh, yellow belly, Amen. Go run. Tuck tail. Praise God. We're champions. We're soldiers, amen. We're warriors on the battlefield of the Lord, amen. All the hot dogs, amen. All the bottles, amen. I hear everyone in the household is faith. It's a beautiful day, amen. I had a great day yesterday. Uh, my wife, amen. That's what it's all about. The family unit. Great day at the game house, amen. Hey, whether you marry or not, you always have a, a fellowship in the family because we all family, amen. So God and all together love us, amen. We just thank God again for the victory. Again, thank God for a great prophet, amen. Thank God for the dinner we're about to have, the fellowship. Thank God for Ray and I putting up in the holiness, amen. Glory, hallelujah. I just thank God for the spirit of happiness. Thank God for the great time we just had in Atlanta. Praise God. His travel of mercy. His precious blood coming. And we still pray for us, amen. Still praying for them, amen. We know prayer going to bring them out. They want to come out, pray and bring them out, amen. So church, be encouraged, amen. We win every time. Now we're standing to be dismissed. May the Lord watch. Between me and thee. While we have it. One from another. In Jesus' name, amen. God be with you.